mind-body oneness thing, which I think is the ultimate, it's that, going back to that form is emptiness, emptiness is form, one interpretation of that is to say body is mind, mind is body. And if you, you know, uh, the materialistic attitude is kind of comfortable, the, the one we've mostly grown up with is comfortable with the idea of mind is body, like, like the mind is only just a man, you know, it's just part of the body and it's just physical processes and things. And, in Zen, we're like, we're okay, that's one way of looking at it. On the other hand, you have spiritual practices and, and religions which uh, want to say um, body is mind, which, which want to say that the body is a secondary thing and the mind or the soul or the spirit is what's actually fundamental and what's truly important. Um, but Buddha himself uh, rejected both of those and said, body is not more important than mind, and mind is not more important than body, they should be equal, they should be even. And my teacher, um, Guru Nishijima, who was my second teacher, he, uh, and still is, uh, he always says that um, the state is, the, that enlightenment is the state of plus minus zero, where body and mind are absolutely equal. Uh, which I thought was a very interesting thing, because if you, if you look at your life, you you never have. We we tend to assume here I am in the philosophy section, and a lot of these philosophers tend to go by the idea that um, that there is mind as a separate thing from body. Our Western philosophy uh, was kind of founded on that idea, and much of Eastern philosophy as well is also founded on this idea that mind is a separate thing, or soul, or Atman in, in Hinduism, is a separate thing from the body. But Buddha rejected that because he'd done, he had done meditation practices which were supposed to find the Atman, you know, free from the body, and found that they didn't really get to the reality he was seeking, and it was only when he kind of came back into contact with his body and uh, and let both be as they are, that he found something that he thought was worth talking about, that he made me talk about.